I'm going to begin with a prayer in English. Creator, Creatress, Mother, Father, I give thanks for this opportunity to be on this land. I give thanks for the opportunity to be on the sacred ground, to be in unity in the, in the land of many of the First Nations. My name is Sabrina Hyatt. My mother is Rita Rosen. I'm the daughter of Albert Hyatt and a member of the Choctaw, Muscogee, and Masi Nation. I come here to bring my ancestors. I come here to meet my relations. I come here to stand in unity with peoples from all over the world. I come here with the intention to create solutions. I am not standing against anything, and many of the people here are not standing against anything. We're here to protect our waters, we're here to protect our natural resources, and we're here to protect our children. I am here to share what I bring from my heart, from my life experience, with the children here in the children's education. I'm here to share about health and wellness, to share about leadership, what it means to be a woman. As a woman here, we are the water carriers and we're the, wiz we're the keepers of that sacred resource. And it is vital to our survival to bring that awareness to the rest of the world and even to the people who wish to create this pipeline because I look at everyone as a child and ignorance is a choice these days. It's a choice to be ignorant and it's a choice to allow knowledge to be educated. And should these people know what the true impact of what they're doing is going to create for their children, for their children's children, perhaps opinions would change and perhaps a solution that benefits everybody can be kind, can be came to in in trueness the solutions come from the children and um, what I propose is a council a council of youth a council of teenagers and a council of conscious adults that can hold the space because for adults many of us the time has passed we are set in, our, of many of us, are set in ways, set in perspectives, set in ways of thinking. Um, but with the perspective of a child and with the new, fresh um, breath of life, the golden innocence of a child, that is where um, the truest, most pure solutions can come from. And when you have a conscious group of adults that can hold the space for the children to create, that is when true solutions for our planet can manifest. When I came here, I came here from California by way of South Dakota, and I was welcomed with food, shelter, blankets, um, generosity by relations that I had never met. Um, my, all of my needs have been taken care of, um, and as far as, um, as, far as tension, there are different people here with different intentions. And some people have a warrior spirit. Some people have a gentle spirit. However, conflict, there is none. And people here are coming in peace and they come without weapons, yet they come with a strong intention. And that intention is not violence. That intention is action and action is being taken. And perhaps people on, in other lands in this moment are afraid of what that action means. For a long time, the native peoples of this land, the indigenous peoples of these lands have not had a voice. They have not been given an, an opportunity to value themselves. And through that has created an epidemic of hopelessness on many of the reservations where uh, I travel to share with children, there is high epidemics of teen suicide. And many people don't know uh, that every single month, teens and children are committing suicide on reservations across the country because they don't feel like they have value. They don't feel like they have a voice. And this right here is an opportunity to say, we do have a voice. 
we have a purpose and this purpose is our planet. And we are clear that our, this purpose is our planet and we are taking action on this. And so violence, no. Conflict, no. Tension, yes. Action, yes. It's here. 